What's up, everybody? It's your boy Slick Tatters, and oh my goodness, the holidays have been great for me. I got this new PC, I got this amazing guitar, and man, we just got so many good games for this holiday. It was just so much stuff to do. And 2019 is here, we're gonna do it big with great videos, great top fives, and nothing can possibly go wrong. I'm back. Who said that? Oh, you don't remember me? Oh, no. Why are you back? Boom! Look who's back in the room! What's up, noob? How you been? You have been gone for a year. Why are you back now? Man, I just had to feel like, you know, discover myself. So, you know, I traveled the world, met some people, and, you know, I found out who's the fifth series in um, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Ah! Do not talk about that. You heard the Nintendo Ninjas, but, man, the Archangels, they don't play. The Archangels. Nice name, but anyway, I'm back and you know what? Don't worry. That whole messing with you thing, uh, got boring, so I'm done with it. Oh, so you're not here to snap me out of existence, take over my channel, or do any other fuck shit? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I got a gift for you. Here you go. The PlayStation Classic. This was originally on my wish list, but everybody was bashing on it so badly, like it really wasn't worth $100, but... Hey, better you than me spending $100. So are we gonna play this game or not? You know what? Let's play this right now. Let's hook it up. PlayStation Classic, it was supposed to be one of the biggest holiday gifts, but man, they tanked on it. One of the biggest things that started off was the whole not having an AC adapter. Like, really? One of the small little things is not having that? And then of course, the regular controller didn't have an analog stick, which is weird. When I first got my hands on this thing, it felt weird where to place my thumbs. I had my thumbs resting on the start and select, and it felt so weird because I may accidentally press it. And then, of course, there was the games. Honestly, the only ones I never knew was Mr. Digger and Jumping Flash. And a few other of these are okay, like the RPGs. And also, I never heard of Destruction Derby. But I feel as though they could have done a better selection. Like, who in the world wants to play Scythe and Fether or Tom Clancy? Especially without analog sticks. Nobody wants to play a shooting game back in the day without analog sticks. But all in all, let's go ahead and play some of the games that I actually like on this system. Ah yes, that sound. Very nostalgic. Okay, so this is the interface. Not bad, looks really good. Um, I like the little callback, the color splat on the play button. And it's in ABC order, got all the covers. Looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and just jump into one of these games. How about Cool Borders? Cool Borders! Here we go! I've always been a big fan of snowboarding games, mainly Snowboard Kids and SSX, but I vaguely remember Cool Borders, but it definitely was my first snowboarding game, so let's see how it holds up now. Okay, what is up with this heart pounding? Okay, I thought it was just for the start, but it's still doing it. Oh, oh dang, I forgot to jump. Wow, you suck. Well, at least I didn't crash. Okay, second try. I got this. All I gotta do is remember just to hold back before the buttons end. What, what the? What the hell did I just do? Okay, the racing part. Now, this part, I definitely do not remember because I spent all my time at the half pipe in the big jump just doing tricks because that was just the big catch to me was just doing tricks but then again I always picked the freestyle tricky character so I knew I wasn't gonna win this race but hey let's go ahead and try some stuff trying to get the hang of riding and doing tricks so yeah this game is pretty decent I mean I'll definitely come back and play a little bit more of this probably live stream it or something but all in all this is not really that bad but before we go right. skills show off okay time for some fighting games and shoo, of course let's go with Tekken 3 oh no this piece of crap what there's nothing wrong with Tekken I wasn't talking about Tekken I'm talking about this Tekken Hey, what always bugged me that Jen is on the player 2 side Kazuya's always been on the first spot in 1 and 2 but screw it we already know we're going with my boy Harang round 1 fight huh. 
Huh, seems to be going well. Plays like second three. I don't see what the problem is. Really? You don't see the problem? No, I don't get what people's always talking about. It's playing exactly how I remember Tekken 3. I'm pretty sure you don't remember Tekken 3, because this is not how it runs. Okay, I'm pretty sure you're tripping, but whatever. Two very boring minutes later. Ugh, why are you still playing this? What? Tekken 3 is fun. This Tekken 3 sucks. Can you please finish this up? Okay, okay, I'll stop when I die. Approximately 10 hours later. Okay, so while I'm here, let's talk about some Tekken 3. It's one of the most iconic games no, of the PlayStation genre. No, like, die, you know, die. die. No, you screw it, give me the controller. The no, this is you're supposed to lose. What are you doing? Let's move stop, on man. to the next Go topic. On, High Rain's not supposed to punch, stop That's it. That's the point. <laughs> All right, I made it all the way to Heihachi. All I gotta do is beat him and bam, Ogre and I am done. Good, we're done, next game. Well, since we're done with Tekken, might as well play Battle Arena to Sendin, the only other fighting game on here. Uh, I remember as a kid mistaking it for Virtual Fighter, but other than that, I have vague memories of this game. Eight traveling fighters, Brought together by a common destiny. Yeah, this roster lineup right here part kind of remind me of the first virtual fighter, which is why I'm mistaking it for. But of course, you know, I'm going to ahead and pick the ninja bitch because the other one has a whip and not interested in SM right now. But go ahead and let's try this out. Oh my goodness, she jumped super high. What is this? Goodness, these controls. This is very sluggish. What is going on? <laughs> These buttons are just weird. Oh, man. Oh, I got the side dodge. This game just feels so weird to play. What is going on? I cannot get over how high they freaking jump. This is ridiculous. Look at this. Look how high she freaking jumps. How are you supposed to land a jumping attack with that angle? Yeah, that was a horrible win animation. What is going on in this game? <laughs> and this is the worst part. You can't see nothing if somebody sized us perfectly around you. It just completely blocks your vision. Like, why doesn't the camera angle just move for you? Like, this game is just, ugh. Hopefully they fix it in 2 and 3, but for now, 1 is just freaking horrible. Okay, next up is Rayman. And the first Rayman I ever played was a 3D platformer, so I'm guessing Rayman 2 or later on series. But I never knew the first one was a 2D platform, and it's very colorful and, gotta say, weird looking. Oh crap, I fell off the stage. I couldn't even tell. That pit blended in so well with the background, I couldn't really see it. Like, what's going on? But, uh, I did it again! It blends in too well with the scenery. I didn't know it was a pit. Yeah. <laughs> was it? That was a really short level. Maybe level two will be a little bit longer, but yeah, that was only a few seconds. The only reason why I took that long is because I died. Other than that, I would have flew through that. But maybe this will be a lot easier. Oh crap, finally some bad guys. And, uh, none of the buttons are doing anything. Okay, this is a crawl button. Wait, stop! Okay, the controls are ridiculous. So the crawl button just makes you crawl. I thought it was just crouching, but if I hold the button, he still keeps going forward instead of me touching the analog stick. But yeah, there's no attack button. This dude don't do anything. Where is this stretch punch and stretch kicks that I remember Rayman 4? What is going on in this game? And you can't jump on bad guys? Yeah, screw this game. Next! Okay, let's play some racing games. Red Racer. Okay, this game, pretty decent. I mean, I've always been a fan of the Need for Speed games because, you know, they had actual cars that I knew about instead of just plain old racing cars. But Ridge Racer was always fun. I think this was the one that had the Galaga at the beginning. And if you killed all the um, Galaga joints, that you... Oh, shit, dressed up. Okay, I got it. 
Oh, I didn't know they had drifting back in the day. That's pretty cool. I thought drifting started from the Need for Speed Underground series. But anyway, um, yeah, Need for Speed was always my game. This, eh, it's, it's okay driving game. Nothing good, nothing bad, just decent. Then why won't we have some fun driving some real machines? Oh shit, where have you been? Well, you was bashing on the games yourself, so you kind of didn't need my help. Besides, I want to go get snacks. Oh, but this is the only racing game on here. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Twisted Metal. Oh yes, this definitely brings me back. I used to always want to try out Grim, but since my friend's big brother kind of banned us from using it because that was his character, you always had to use other people. But I always wanted to use the motorcycle, and now I finally get my chance. Holy crap, this dude is fast. How do you control this thing? Like, oh my goodness. Ah, <laughs> I'm just getting destroyed. All I can do is run because I'm faster than him. Like, how am I supposed to steady and aim and shoot? Because I'm just going to zip right past him. Like, dude, this dude is ridiculous to control. I have to stand still and fight. Like, yeah, see? I did a lot of damage to him. Luckily, he has high attack power, but this speed is ridiculous. Okay, this world should definitely be more suited for him. Open world, get to zip down the street, and oh crap! Uh, uh, actually, nah, never mind, I take that back. The fact that he's super fast doesn't really help, especially since most of the time I can't just really aim and shoot. You're better off just standing still and having somebody with high tank power. And that's where I come in, stand back, noob. Hammerhead is the easiest character to use in this game. He may be slow, but his super is just ramming into you and it does a crap ton of damage. So, unless somebody's legit running away from you, you can easily destroy him with this car because it has some of the best health in the game so you can just stand back, aim, and shoot missiles at them or just ram the crap out of them. Yes, Puzzle Fighter. Now, I enjoyed this game. I enjoyed the mobile game, especially when I didn't run into somebody who was doing obviously pay to win when they was way more overpowered than me. But when I ran into somebody evenly matched with me with the same level, it was always fun to play. And I enjoy these puzzle games like Pokemon Puzzle League and stuff. It's always nice to relax and listen to your own type of music sometimes and just play these games. Especially when you hit them with a big crushing blow. Oh yeah, you are done for, Morgan. Bam! That is game. Yeah, looks like Sakura is giving you some go. Yeah, I'm not worried. Long as you don't get no red breaker, this is in the bag. Hey, you never know, she could get that diamond just in time, and oh, damn, she just got the diamond. You are so lucky. Uh, what is this? Jumping flash? This game looks weird. I don't know, this is like literally the only game I have no clue about. I seen the completionist made a video on it, but I never watched it, but I don't know. This game is just weird. I mean, the controllers are fine. But it's just a, it's a 3D platform. I mean, so far I've not seen nothing wrong. It's weird that you're playing as a rabbit, a robot rabbit. But other than that, this game is, yeah. Well, now since I got used to the controls, this game is uh, pretty fun. I mean, I will probably do a run through of this game later on. But I mean, it piqued my interest, so that's a plus. Better than Bubsy 3D for sure. But uh, I mean. Yeah, again, not good, not bad, pretty decent, but I've never heard of this game until now, well, so how did this even make the list? Like, I'm pretty sure this game was not popular. All in all, I give the PlayStation Classic a rating of Power Rangers Mystic Force and Beyond. Back then, this was a really great idea and really fun, but now I feel like you're just trying to cash it in. Like, some of these nostalgia games are really good, but then you didn't have an AC adapter, you even though the PlayStation 1 is optional with the analog stick, you didn't add them. And some of these games should have been replaced with better games like, I don't know, Crash Team Racing or other iconic PlayStation games other than Jumping Flash, Mr. Digger, and even though I love Puzzle Fighter, why is it on here? But all in all, again, it was okay, but I wouldn't spend $100 on it. So thank you, Lynx. Dude, do you really think I spent $100 on this thing? It was only 30 bucks. Didn't this just like come out? It went on sale. Nobody wanted to buy this thing. So they slashed the prices. And then they slashed the prices again. It's really already on sale? Wow. But all in all, the main reason why I bought this is this. A flash drive. What are you going to do with the flash drive? Yep. Watch this.
What in the world? Bloody Raw 2? Brave Fencer? Breath of Fire? Castlevania? Crash Team and Digimon? Oh my goodness, this is amazing. You're welcome. Now this should have been on here. I understand some of my favorites like Digimon not being on here, but Crash Team Racing was a staple to the PlayStation. This basically rivaled Mario Kart and Diddy Kong Racing, so I don't understand how this didn't make it. Unless there's some kind of crazy license agreements, but you know. Seriously, they could have did something to get Crash Team Racing on the PlayStation Classic. But before we continue the fun, let's go back to Tekken 3. You have Tekken 3 on this, but it's already on the Classic. Why? Oh, don't worry. I'm about to show you the exact reason why I did this. Okay, on the right, we have the PlayStation Classic. And on the left, we have the hat, which is the regular Tekken 3. Now, we'll see what happens when I pick her on at the same time. And look which one booted up faster. Granted, it's a small slight speed difference, but that's just like playing Marvel's Capcom 2 when you put it on normal and then you put it on turbo. You can definitely feel the difference when you're playing. And now right here, I'm gonna do the same exact combo and watch what happens. Even though I started first on the classic, I ended up finishing on the regular mod. See? That's a big difference. Ah yes, I remember Rapper Rapper as a really fun game, but my only big problem with it was the fact that you could not really figure out how to get a cool, like, yeah, you press the button, you won't get that many points, but if you rapidly press the button, sometimes you get a high score, sometimes you get a low score. It was so hard to make up your mind of how to get points in this game, but all in all, it was still fun and the raps are cool. Gundam Battle of Hell. Now this was my game. I love Gundam Wing, so making it into a fighting game is just perfect for me. Granted, I only knew the Gundam Wing and Zeku because I've only watched the Gundam Wing anime at this point. But this game was super great. I love the fact that you had ammo so you couldn't just spam guns. And all in all, the gameplay was somewhat familiar and easy to play. Come on, do the super. Do the super. Come on, do the super. Ah! Dude, you're killing yourself. What are you doing? I'm trying to do the super. Well, apparently that's not how you do it. Down for two punches. Down for two punches. It's not working. Ah, oh, crap. I'm dead. <laughs> he just walked up and punched me. And once again, you show that you suck at fighting games. How are you a fighting game channel again? Because you be getting your ass kicked a lot. Oh, I'm sorry that I don't remember a game that I haven't played in like 17 years. How about you do better? Okay, I will. Go. Wealth and glory to the winner. Down forward two punches is in Battle Assault 2, and this one is down forward, down forward punch. They changed it. Oh, so let me try it now. Hey, it worked. But that's enough of this. Let's move on to the second game. Gundam Battle Assault 2. Now, this game is a great successor. Not only did they add the new Gundam D series, they even went back and added the original Gundam. And there's a ton of characters to unlock in this game. Like, I'm pretty sure there's over 30 Gundams in this one. What made this even more likable is the fact that they used the Endless Waltz customs for the Gundam Wing characters. And oh my goodness, these are definitely some of my favorites of the Gundams. Death Sight, Wing Zero, even Sandrock Endless Walt custom was pretty cool. Custom Wing Zero was really good in this I'll game. He was a great zoner and had one of the best looking supers in the game. He just jumps in the air and just destroys you. I was also a big fan of using Burning Gundam in this game. Oh, you mean the Ryu of this game? Why'd you call him the Ryu of this game? Yeah, I see what you're talking about. And last, I wanted to talk about my favorite Gundam of all time, Death Sight. Now, he's really unique. His heavy attack is his sight swing, and it's an unblockable. They made it extremely slow, but he has amazing setups to where you have to block, but then he swings at you, so you can't block that part. 
I always thought he would probably be a rushdown character because it's death sight, but he was very defensive and just a tricky character. All he had to do was just keep swinging the sight, but you couldn't really block against him. Okay, let's just do two more games. But oh yes, Dragon Ball GT definitely's got to be one. This game came out while we was on our way to Planet Namek, so some of these characters we had no clue about. I had no clue who the hell Boo, Cell, Trunks, and why. Gohan was an adult. I was like, what is going on in this game? But I still enjoyed it for what it was. You should know more than anyone else that you can't defeat me. You look strong. This should be a good fight. Yeah, I have zero clue how to play this game. So I looked at the command list and yeah, I went around. <laughs> Luckily, the computers seem like they know exactly how to stop the beams every single time, unless you're close enough to where you don't have an animated beam. Crap, a beam struggle. How do you beat these again? You gotta spin the analog sticks. This controller doesn't have analog sticks. Well, I guess you're fucked. What is this, setting on the hardest difficulty? This is just the second round, little Goku is just handing my ass to me. Look at this, he is just destroying me. Next. Okay, one more game. One more game. Oh, you know what? Let's go with Tony Hawk. The Tony Hawk games are like the definition of just having fun. From 1 all the way to Underground 2, Tony Hawk has been an amazing game. 2 was really great because they added manuals and bigger maps and stuff like that. Um, not that much customization yet, but they still had one of my favorite characters, Rune Griffberg in the Christ Air. That was like my favorite move. I don't know why, I just really love the Christ Air move. Okay, only five seconds left. Get one more Christ there in. Bam! Huh, that was a pretty good run. Please, I can easily blow that score out of the water. Okay then, you give it a try. Hold on, let me put my score in. Slick with it. Let's go. Of course you would pick Tony Hawk. Duh, I'm trying to win. The highest score move in the game, but also one the hardest to land. Nice try. And here we go. Clutch finish. Bam! Blew your score out the water. Let's go. Lynx is better. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? I'm done for the day. A little tuckered out. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the dark world. But hey, got one more thing for you. Catch. Peace. Hmm. Okay, so you left this box. But yeah, honestly. Originally, the PlayStation Classic is not worth a hundred dollars. Uh, Fifty bucks? Nah. Eh, I mean, it's a nice little trophy. It looks good sitting there. But honestly, the best thing about it is just hacking it and playing the PlayStation Classic on the TV. Shout out to a save me in for helping me out and doing all the hard work. And all he, all he had to do was just send it to me, and I put it on the USB. But all in all, really and truly, if you just want to play old school PlayStation games, there's this thing called an emulator that you can do. But my main thing is just to have it as a, you know, like the figurine sitting around here. I got the classic Super Nintendo sitting right here. So, yeah, I just liked it because it's sitting right here with all the other um, systems. But yeah, I'm definitely going to play it now since I got the games that I actually want to play. But let's go ahead and see what's in this box. Oh, shit. 